What's going on guys? It's Emil here and today I'm bringing you some hand cam races. Haven't done these in a while and the only difference from regular races that we're doing today is that we're playing online time trials. So this is a pretty good room that's happening right now. We have some good players like NL Thomas, All Afraid, Justin, ZR. Really good names and it's kind of fun to race against these guys using Daisy on a lot of what would seem to be funky tracks. So we're going to start things off on GCN Waluigi Stadium and uh, this is just a good video to you know give you guys an idea of how I play. Since I haven't done a hand cam video since about 2018 if I remember correctly. And um, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. Now one thing I want to know about RWS is actually one of my weaker tracks because I've never had like really good consistency on it but i feel like with indi like some individual parts i'm like decent so compared to these guys like for example you can see glitch j breaking away immediately that's justin and i'm i don't know how to do turn skip still so what i'm just gonna do is just these wheelies across the uh, zippers because that's way more consistent and faster than not doing the wheelies and then doing the turn skip like, as you can see, because I just did what I did on the zippers, I'm actually still pretty close with Justin after all that. So, not a bad lap one. I definitely could have gotten a 37 lap if I drove most of it better. But, for my standards, that's actually not too bad. And I'm kind of surprised I'm in second. That was a much better wall bounce, but since I was angled wrong, I basically ate the wall right there. Once again, just going to go with these wheelies. I'm not sure what the ideal amount of uh, wheelies there is, but I seem to have gained a decent amount there since now I'm in first actually. And I might see some people turning to the turn skip, <laughs> turning to it, <laughs> anyway, I might see some people resorting to turn skip try to pass me. That was a way better lap, well not way better, but like 0 0.2, but I mean if you're talking about TTs, 0.2 is a pretty considerable amount. So I'm going to try to get a good wall bounce here. I have a decent angle, Ah, uh, no I, I scuffed that really hard. I just threw my whole race away. But I'm still in third, so I'm not going to do turn skip still. I should be fine keeping third without turn skip. Ah, that was really bad, but since, I'll, since I'm Daisy, I'm able to handle myself right around the turn. I think I'm going to be keeping third unless I, uh, you know, choke the last ramp. I can't get target shocked in a room like this because, you know, it's online time trials. 155. Yeah, that's actually like an average run I would finish on TTs. That would have been a really nice 154 if I didn't choke the shroomless cut. Yeah, Justin got a 153 and then he had, he, had, he, he had a huge lead on this. Justin's really good at this mode, so it's no surprise there. And also, uh, the latest update of this actually shows the um, finishing time of each player when you cross. Rather than like, you know, what position you got, the player name and all that. That's a pretty cool update. Alrighty, so DDR, this is actually one of my least consistent tracks along with Waluigi Stadium. And if I'm being honest, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to get some consistent strats down. So that's already a good start. And I think Zed, that's ZR by the way, uh, Necros. I don't know how to say that name, Necros, Necros, I don't know. I'm just going to go for consistency here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little drift here into this wall glitch. And I failed it because I went too high. So that's okay. Still chilling. So what I can do here is I can just take ultra this lap. So I don't have to worry about it going into lap three. Okay, that was really bad. But I'll still go for it just because I feel more obliged to do it on going into lap two than I do into lap three. Ah, barely hit the tree. Thomas ate like everything there. So this isn't going to be the hottest race for me, but I'm still ahead of some people since I didn't get the worst possible crash on the Ultra. Oh, that was really close. If I just do like this, maybe. Okay, that's fine, too. I didn't get the wall glitch that time, but um, since I, you know, was uh, low enough, I was able to just wrap around the turn using the sand. That's going to land on the wall. Nice. Ah, no mini turbo there. I kind of had a weird angle going into that. I think some people are doing ultra into lap three. I'm just gonna try to get sand hop here. Nice, got it. Oh, Embrace failed ultra, so. Since that other guy didn't take the uh, sand hop, I was able to pass him. And I'm just gonna go for the low trick on the second one, since I'm feeling kind of safe. So, 
I'll explain what, why why I think online TTs are a really good mode, and I got a good wall glitch there. Zed fail, wow. So basically, why I've really started to like online TTs is because it's gonna be a really good way to get consistent with driving. Because with online TTs, you kind of have a one and done situation. There's no restart button or anything like that. And you're kind of forced to be, it's all about who is consistently the fastest rather than who's the fastest. Because if you can't consistently do well, you're really going to have a rough time with this. As you can see, all of Frey got a 150, Justin with a 152, and then I got in third with a 156. So, I have a lot of practicing to do on that track if I want to be up there with them. And that's what's really fun about this mode. You can get some of that practice here. Of course, you can go to Town Challenge for that, but Online TTs is a great way to compare your skill set to other players and possibly learn where you can improve. Ooh, Totes Factory on Daisy. Okay, this is going to be really fun. So, one thing I should know. What a lot of people are likely going to do is try to go for 2-1-0. However, I'm on Daisy. So, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to stick with 1-1-1. And you're gonna, you guys might be surprised where I use the mushroom. But trust me, it is 100% worth it. But what I'm just going to do, I'm going to cancel out the chain with the mushroom. So... The reason I do that, Daisy is barely fast enough to do the two shroom strat at the beginning. But Daisy's speed makes it so that you can't go under the lap 3 stomper. At least as of right now. You have to be really fast if you want to make it under the lap 3 stomper. That was a decent low trick with a good landing. 37.8, that's acceptable lap 1. Should be good to make it under these stompers. Yeah, barely. And if you guys know me well at all you will know that i can't get chain wheels for my life so i'm better off just using my shrooms here you know to cancel out the chain it's no surprise that i have people breaking away yeah that's zed i think justin's in first probably yeah justin is ge generally a beast at this mode like, he is always going to be in first on this on like these tracks uh, that was a really high jump but it was still acceptable yeah, 37.6. So this is like a 152 pace for me. And generally, I accept that. Oh, Zed hit the stomper. So I can't get first. Justin's too far ahead of me. But I can settle for second, which I'd be fine with. So this last chain, this last shroom should get me away from Zed. That way, I'm just a little bit closer to Justin. So Justin's looking at about a 150 pace. Maybe like a mid to low. I can't really tell. And I'm definitely looking at like a 153 or 152. <laughs> Yeah, that just made it a 153. Good low. Wow, still a 152.7. Okay, that's actually kind of surprising, if I'm being honest. I was looking at that pace being a 153 after I failed the shroomless there. But I guess since I got really low air and didn't interact with the wall for a long amount of time, I guess that made it so that I was able to keep a decent amount of speed going into the boost panels. And I think the low jump at the end definitely helped. Because I think it was the best out of the three. Oh, so Justin barely didn't get a 150. So he got like a 151.1. And I had a pretty... I was a pretty decent away behind him. And then Zed had a fail lap three. Oh, that's unfortunate. Really fun race though. I'm going to do a few more races here just to show you guys kind of how I approach these tracks with Daisy. And, uh, you know, just to help you guys out with it. Ooh, Peach Gardens. All right, so... Fun thing about Peach Gardens is that this tends to be a uh, neutralizing track, honestly. So what I mean by that is um, this is a track that everyone will know how to drive for the most part. It all comes down to how cleanly you do it. That's what I love about it. There's not too many places to mess up and everyone's usually pretty close together on this one. Like whenever I join rooms, this is one of the first few tracks I'll play. And this room's been going on for a while, so I already played it earlier and we're just playing it again now. And I think this is the only track we've repeated so far. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, this is probably the only one we've repeated. So, I don't think I'm going to catch those top two. But what I'm going to try to do is hold my own ground. And, um... Now, the difference for this track comes at, at the end. So, Daisy, what you do here, you just drift off of the edge there. And then you go into it. 40.9, not a bad lap one. I'm going to try to keep getting laps like that. And that way I can get, like, a 202. Maybe, like, a 201. Like, my personal record uh, with Daisy on this track is, like, a 201.9. So this is already a really good pace for me. 
Also, while I'm at it, I might as well talk about my uh, grip for online time or for playing this game. So, if you guys have watched other people play with the GameCube controller, you'll notice immediately what I do is I'm always in a claw grip. And uh, usually, when you see players playing, you'll only find them in claw grip if they're like playing like you know other like specific tracks that require. It. For example, maybe like Toad's Factory or like N64 Bowser's Castle. And by no means is it required for a lot of tracks, but it's always good to know how to do it. Because, you know, in case that, in case you need it, like, Toad's Factory Shroomless, very hard to do that shortcut without clawing. Like, if you're not clawing on that, that's, like, borderline impossible. Also, I seem to have gained a little bit off of on Olafrey and Justin, but they're gaining it back on me because of the, you know, the speed of Flame Runner. Overall, not a bad run for Mach Park, unless I crash into the wall here. I'm looking at a 202. Nice! 2024. Really good time by me. Yeah, that was pretty close to my PR. That was like clean driving all around, but um Most of my time lost there comes from, you know, just Funky's generally faster speed than Daisy. So not a bad run by me at all. I would have liked to get a 201, but I don't think I would have caught them that easily. So yeah, Justin just beasting it up, gaining a lot of VR off of this room. I'm not going to switch to Funky personally since I want to get better at my daisy driving. Because, you know, I'm a daisy main after all. It's what I do. So, let's get going to the next race. Alright, so I know what you guys are thinking. And no, I'm not going to go for glitch. So, a, l a little gentleman's rule that we like to have on online time trials when we're playing with a bunch of time trials is to not go for glitches or you know like the bc Wii glitch bc3 shortcut stuff like that easy stuff like you know um well dks double tf shroomless that's obviously a lot you know different and i think we are seeing some people going for glitch i'm fortunate can't do much to control it but it's still fun to drive this you know no glitch because who knows maybe some point we'll need to know how to drive no glitches pretty well Really good, really good beginning. Well, this is looking like a mid-47 lap, I think, if I get good geysers here. Uh, yeah, 48-0. That wasn't the best ending, but it was acceptable, considering I had a pretty bad first ramp. I think Justin might have missed the first ramp, and he had to shroom because of it, but I can't be sure. But the good news is, if you don't if you don't hop over the first ramp, you get to hold your shroom to the actual shroom spot. That's obviously way faster. And I don't know who this JL person is, but they they seem to be pretty fast at this. Okay, I think that's way easier on Daisy than it is on Funky, because I've already gotten that two for two. And usually when I'm playing Funky, I never do that well. Really good shroom, actually. I caught up to Justin by a. A small amount, but it's still pretty decent. And I think I'm gonna go in the middle. Uh oh. That was really high air. Another 48 0, so I'm looking at like a 224. I'm gonna go on the right this time. Yeah, I think I'm seeing a good gap on the right. Ah, no third trick, but it works. It's fine. My lines right now are looking pretty solid. I'm like losing a bit of time off of like, you know, just mainly speed. Compared because once again, Funky Kong, way faster character than Daisy. Well, not way faster, but slightly faster. Ah, oh, it's bad. That's the end of my BC we run, I think. If Justin doesn't have a shroom, then I win. Ah, he had the shroom. Yeah, so I think I'm taking home second for this one. I don't know what happened, everyone. Like, I kind of just like kept kept myself up here with Justin. Yeah. 222 2. that that seems about right so i think my last lap might have been a point one or maybe a it was either a low point one or a point nine which isn't bad by any means but i would have liked to get 47 laps because i have hit a 223 on uh, in this mode like once but it doesn't really happen that much so one thing I want to point out, you can see at the bottom there, someone has the time of zero, zero. Um, it shows the time is zero if someone DCs from the room. So obviously you can tell that he DC'd from the room in that instance. So yeah. Okay. So the last race I'm going to have for you guys for this video is going to be N64 Sherbet Land. Now, right away, what I can say 
it is that this is a great advantage for Daisy because driving this track with Daisy is way easier than driving it with Funky. Oh! Somehow I didn't die there. Uh, that's the first time I've had a very risky uh, section there. They're yeah, gonna be able to do a drift there. That, apparently that's what the faster strat is. I learned that when I started playing this mode. What I used to do is do like hop, hopping and then wheeling again. And that loses a bit of time because you don't have a mini turbo boost into it obviously. And you have to re-accelerate from ice speed to like regular vehicle speed since you know. This ice is like slight off-road as you can see by my speedometer going down to like 86 on the ice. So 43.1, pretty slow lap. What I usually want to look at is like somewhere between like like a, 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 a mid to high 42. And Smock Bike BKT is like a 207. But the chains here are going to do a lot for that. Once again, I'm just going to do this simple mini turbo into the cave. It's kind of risky to do it on lap one in case I didn't say it on lap one, but it's kind of risky to do it on lap one because the penguins are just moving away from the center. And you kind of have a pretty tight window to get it there. What I love, so what I really love about Daisy on this track, uh, okay, I'm not going to go tight here. I'm going to probably get, get some people passing me. I had to hop there, lost a bit of time. Yeah, 43-2. Probably would have been a point one if I didn't hop. Oh, someone, oh, this guy's catching me. Like, hardcore. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the fastest way to do it. Ah, oh, I think he failed the shroom, so he's off the track. Now, this is gonna be pretty risky. I think I'm gonna have to stay to the left. Yeah, and then just weave over. Yeah, that seemed like the best way to approach that. So like, in case it wasn't already obvious, I have myself a pretty comfortable first place as of right now, and I've kind of kept first the whole race. Also because everything on this track is generally easier with Daisy. And I'm not going to crash into the penguin. Yeah. <laughs> not going to let Olafrey win that way. So yeah, that's going to be like a 2095? Yeah, 20957. Nice. Pretty good stuff. So, guys, the purpose of this video was to kind of give you an insight onto how I drive Daisy on some tracks. Really hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. And if you want me to record more online time trials with some commentary, maybe without the hand cam, you let me know. I'll be sure to do it. So with that, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.